Hello, hello, my name's Annalise and I'm on a mission to deliver you some ANTM British Invasion content. This video is all about episode 10, the terrifying Macau Tower photo shoot. Always, I need your help so please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram but a new top this week I haven't actually got anywhere else to wear it apart from with you guys so I thought I'd show it off so this whole look is giving me 90s vibes my top is actually from Diane Von Furstenberg makes me sound bougie but it's actually from a sample sale. My baggy 90s jeans. Can you tell I'm enjoying this? But let me get back to the task at hand. I am recapping the most terrifying shoot from ANTM British Invasion, the dreaded Macau Tower photo shoot from episode 10. Now, things were so damn hard at this point. Like you could, with only five of us left, you could literally feel everyone's emotions. I felt like an empath. The long ass days, all the waiting around. Like it was bad in LA, but in Hong Kong and Macau, it was literally 10 times slower. There was always some kind of hold up, some kind of issue, whether it was navigating, setting up. Like sometimes we even had last minute location changes. All of these frustrations, they were kind of like gone off ingredients in a pressure cooker. Ming it. <laughs> anyway, we did the silkworm photo shoot, then the acting challenge with Nicholas Say. Um, I actually did a recap on that already, so please do check it out if you haven't already. And we knew it was coming. When you get on the boat from Hong Kong to Macau, like you can see the Macau Tower, like you can't bloody miss it. And it's so similar to the CN Tower in Canada that we actually avoided. There was like no way that we were gonna dodge that bullet twice. And so, yes, I'm kicking off from when we get our Tyra Mail. Only the early risers make it to the top. Fierce and love, Tyra. Tyra. Everything about that says take it off the bed, right? I'm sure it was earlier than that. Oh, and Nia. She's such a huge part of our experience, the wardrobe stylist. And we don't get to see her much. Anita comes in and she's like, morning guys! I'm kind of like, what the hell's going on? And hair and makeup are setting up. It's just kind of a weird... It's so distressing. Up, do you know what I mean? It's really sudden. It's like, ah, I'm awake. Yes, what does everyone want? I feel like everybody can see how much I'm lusting for this. Like, Did she have to use that word? And I feel like the other girls thought that I didn't really deserve to win the challenge. But when one starts pitching, the other one bitches more. Notice how I'm I can still do this. I can still rock this. Hello, everybody. Hair and makeup told us that the weather was crazy, but when we left, it was confirmed. So we're driving that to the location, and I see the same kind of looking tower that I saw in Canada. I don't know anything about it, I hate it. I don't even want to see it. I don't do heights, like I don't think people understand. I don't do heights, and we arrived right there. I don't know. We were not impressed on arrival. Good morning, keep coming up. I know, of course, a couple of you guys are scared of heights because remember when I welcomed you in Toronto at the CN Tower, there was fear there and you guys asked me, are we doing a photo shoot out at the CN Tower? Well, I kind of told a half truth because we weren't doing a shoot then, but today you guys are doing line. your photo shoot here in the Macau Tower, 764 feet above the ground. 764. The Macau Tower is the home of the tallest bungee jump in the world. In the world? You will be in harnesses out there with our very own Mr. Nigel Barker, who's out there already. That's where your shoot's gonna be. This is like the worst photo shoot I think they could give me. It's raining so hard. It's Look really it. windy. It's so, so high up. Like, I just. I don't think I can do this. I really don't think I can do this. So, yeah. We were not exaggerating when it came to the weather. Mr. J actually confirmed in his Jay's chat with Sophie that the tower was actually closed due to torrential weather. I actually had to Google torrential just to make sure it was the right word. And yes, people, torrential weather. 
As in, the Macau Tower takes people's monies to do bungee jumps and skywalks and whatever else. The skywalk was the one that we were doing for our photo shoot. And they decided that it wasn't safe to take people's monies and open that day. Is this not a pause for concern? Clearly not. I was defo scared but I knew I wasn't as scared as Alicia and Sophie. And when there's only five of you left, that gives you pretty good odds, right? You will be in harnesses out there with our very own Mr. Nigel Barker. We arrive at Macau Tower and I knew it was a photo shoot and I am beyond excited. Of course she's excited. I love heights, I love thrills. They're mopping it up. You're not supposed to do it when it's wet. Know that you're safe. Sophie, you'll be first. I would never, ever do anything like this. Look out, don't look down. I don't like flying, I don't like roller coasters, I don't like carnivals. I'm not gonna be a fun one. I'm not gonna like this. Over the past few years, the skyline in Macau has exploded. You girls are gonna represent the strength and the power of Macau, and the city is gonna be your background. You I can't even see it. You go up first. I'd really rather not. I'd really, really rather just see someone. Are you sure you want to go out first with me? You sure, no, I honey? I need to get fixed. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. You should go first. Do I have a volunteer? Guys, you want to go first? Alright, Laura, you're Competition. my girl. Competition. Sophie has Ready to agree. step in. And I was so excited to be in this element. And I want to win America's Next Top Model because damn straight the world needs to see Zagalicious. I think it's a good idea to go first. I think it'll be good to get it done. Yes. Laura is my strongest competition. And she's a friend, but I want to do modeling and I want to do it now. And at 21, if I don't win this and get the opportunity to get with LA and New York models, it won't happen for me. You know, I won't let friendship get in the way of competition. Do you think I can go first? Yes. Because I don't want to delay things by people having to redo my makeup. <laughs> well, once you're out there, there's rain, there's water, yeah, so tears, there's a lot of problems. But thank you. All right, good. Okay, so you're going to be first? Yeah. Come on, Sophie. Get out there. Look at it though. Okay, you're good there. Let me turn around. Come on, make up. Ask her to pose without holding onto the cable, please. Yeah. Wanna try some without holding it? I'm sorry. Okay. It was okay. so hard not to hold on. It was so I'm hard. It's a little bit further away from the body if you can. Sophie's crying. Like, I want to cry as well, but I'm still trying to act cool here because I don't want it to affect my performance. I really need this photo shoot. I think more than anybody else. Relax your fingers a little bit. OK. Relax the face. I feel like we've got good shots. Jay is happy? Uh, yeah. Well done, They've babe. got some shots. They've got some. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely is Nigel? It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And it just all built up, and I just sobbed. Get inside and warm up. <laughs> it was freezing, by the way. I do feel really freezing. nervous because there's five girls left. Everyone's good, and I feel like I'm slipping. <laughs> What's me next? The thing is, I'm not scared of actual heights. I'm scared of falling from a height. <laughs> My so when there is wind blowing at me and I'm standing there without holding on to anything, I'm definitely going to be a bit nervous. My hair is a frizzball. Beautiful, sweetie. You have to look to me. Look at the wind. You know, I really like the way Annalise worked with the harness and she actually kind of made it look like she was an archer, like this crouching tiger, hidden dragon thing. Ooh. She didn't fight it. No, she didn't fight it at all. And she actually kind of brought in this feeling of the culture here. And I like that. Well, that's the face. Pretty, pretty. OK, we're good. We got it. Oh. Yay! So yes, another shoot that I feel like I totally smashed. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but did you notice that we are not actually that far away from the platform exit? But I promise you, it felt like we were in the land of like no return. I couldn't even imagine doing the skywalk all the way around the Macau Tower. In fact, I could if it looked like this. So all good, I post up a storm with my bow and arrow. I didn't even realize I was doing it at the time. But yeah, solid performance. Now let's get me inside. It was almost like having an outer body experience. Disheveled. And then I went like that, down, and I was like... <gasps> the down view I was no joke. I tried to hold it in, like, 
I'm too emotional. I'm thinking, how am I going to do a photo shoot when I'm scared? I'm ready to go for this. Yeah. That's so exciting. Oh my god. Laura is obviously physically attracted to Nigel oh. I feel like George of the Jungle. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little, little bit annoying because she's over the top. Just tell me when you're ready. Okay, let's do this. Look at her. Comfortable doing her awkward fabulousness. Okay, you know what? Laura is, I mean, she is working my nerves. She's so fabulous. I think I, I rocked it out during this shoot. I'm looking at the girls and I'm like, all right, girls, I'm gonna bring it. Like, I was like having fun. I didn't care. Okay. So calm, relax, chill it. Okay, we're good. We got it. Okay. Well done, you. Getting up with these. There's more more than the competition there. Like, there's the fact that Laura hates me. But she what does. I need to work on the most is my facial expressions, and I'm trying to stay focused on the competition as much as I can. Come on, Ebony. Relax the face, beautiful there. Chin up a tiny a bit. bit limmy. There you go. At this point in the competition, we're all such strong models, but I have to look at everything I've gone through and see how far I've come. Like, I'm in Macau. That's that's not something to roll your eyes at. Don't forget to smile. See those eyes that are energy. Like... I want to prove that despite the struggles with my parents and having a rough childhood, I can still make it and be successful. I think oh, she's got something there. in there. We're good. We got it. I don't think Ebony is as strong as Sophie and Alicia and Annalise. And if I didn't win, I'd rather have a Brit win. But I would not want Ebony to win. Rock. I think I'm more than terrified when I about my family. It just reminds me why I'm here. So one day I can give my family what they've given me. You're gonna be fine. Alicia was extremely traumatized. I thought she was a little bit tougher than that. Like, I, I think did. she's been in the bottom two a few times. She's got to get a good shot today. And I think everybody knows that she probably is a little bit weak, but she's going for it. I didn't mean how that sounded. <laughs> you got this, Alicia. Beautiful. Gorge. Look at that go. Can you tell her to put her chin down? Every shot, we're looking all the way up her nose. Chin down. I'm not sure what the judges expect of me, because at the end of the day, I can go into a photo shoot and I give it everything I've got, but I'm getting, like, mediocre pictures. I can't believe she's not holding on. I think it was very interesting today, because this whole environment gave all the girls a wake-up call. And for Alicia, she knew that this was make or break. We're done. We're good. <sighs> The look in her eyes when she was out there was, I've got to do this. But she's not letting herself actually be as beautiful as she can be. You guys all did an amazing job. And guess what? That's a wrap up here. It's a so wrap here. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Always I'm a little tired. bit nervous about panel, even though I feel like Always I nervous. did well. And I do feel like even if my picture is great this week, the judges might draw on times when I've been in the bottom two. So considering everything, it kind of makes my journey a little bit bumpy. Ha! I just realized that I'm the only one here who hasn't got a best photo. And no one cares. I think today has been the most Draining, traumatic day of my life. And I know it's gonna be me in the bottom too. I'm probably going home. So I hope I've just proved to them how committed I am because I was not, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. The last one shoot, I was exhausted. The one before that, I was exhausted. I've been sweating everything. I'm doing everything they asked me to do. When I sit here in this competition and I constantly have to see all these girls crying over things that are so insignificant, that's what's frustrating to me, because this is what the competition is about. It's about going through these struggles and coming out on top. And I just feel like, let's get rid of the riffraff. Oh, Laura! The photo shoot was horrible. It's really making me think about who I am as a person, and if I actually even want to do modeling now. Oh, I'm just fed up. It's not real. Maybe had enough. I don't think I can handle another bottom two. Just send me home. Dead serious on that one. I think she just spoke it into existence there. I'm going to be covering the double elimination from episode 10. So please do keep an eye out for that. Hit the bell notification. Um, so I'm going to refrain from commenting on that part. But as for the photo shoot itself, the more I think about it, it's the more distressed I am. I actually think it was the most terrifying shoot from ANTM British Invasion. 
The Silk One photo shoot didn't even come close to this one. So yeah, I'm super glad that I did it though. I mean, it feels like I was ticking stuff off my bucket list that I didn't even know existed. As I said, I have an issue with falling from a height, not the actual height itself. So like bungee jumping and the free falling and the brook, brook, brook of your neck and the bounce back. Mm -mm. No, 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 no vista. Skydiving, not for me. Although Laura um, actually spoke about how she used to be a skydiving instructor. She talked about that in my Instagram live chat with her. But for me, nope. Nigel was the whole savior of that shoot. I don't think that any other photographer that we worked with would have been as patient with us just because they didn't know us, the fatherly vibe. I feel like the whole energy as well was off with this shoot, being woken up all drastically like that, then with the torrential weather. Yeah, we should be super proud of ourselves. Who do you think did best in this photo shoot? Please do let me know your comments below because I've got a whole bunch of opinions that I'm not going to get into until I cover the elimination. While you wait for that, please do check out my back catalogue of ANTM content along with my outfit check styling videos. I've got lots of content lined up for you, so please do stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Instagram. Thank you so much for supporting and of course watching this video, my recap reaction to episode 10 ANTM British Invasion, the Macau Tower photo shoot. I promise I will be back soon. See you later.